Okay, fellow bosses, we're baby back at it again with some baby back ribs today, as you saw in the intro hint. Instead of making some traditional KCBS style baby back ribs, uh, today we're gonna mix it up with some maple bourbon ribs to see what kind of results we get. Well, they're not gonna make themselves, so let's get into it. We're gonna be cooking low and slow today, so let's get the fire started using the Prieto method so that we have a nice, consistent burn. Okay, with that step started, I'm gonna head on in and start the preparation steps up. It goes without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Of course, you have to remove the membrane that's on the back of the ribs. Otherwise, you gonna have some tough ass ribs. If you want some juicy and flavorful ribs, I definitely and highly recommend that you brine them or marinate them overnight. Here's a quick and easy method that I learned from Myron Mixon about marinating ribs overnight which you mix dry ranch dressing. It sounds weird, but it's amazing, it comes out great. Dry ranch dressing with ginger ale and let it all bubble together. Put your ribs inside and leave it overnight. Comes out great. 24 hours later. Okay, now that that's gotten all happy overnight, now it's time to apply some dry rub. And what we're gonna do is apply a binder so that the dry rub can stick actually made this two ways with two different types of binders so I tried using mustard which I like and usually prefer and then I also tried using maple syrup um, to see which gave the better results I'll tell you what I think at the end all right we let that set up and get all happy for a minute and then we put it on the smoker and then today what we're gonna do is we're gonna smoke at 275 we're gonna smoke them um, using the 221 methods right so that's two hours on the smoke two hours wrapped and then one hour back on the smoke unwrapped all right let's get some straight here if you are not wrapping your food you are not making barbecue you have to wrap it in foil with a mopping mixture that consists of brown sugar some butter honey or you can use maple syrup since we're using maple in the glaze today and a little bit of juice like apple juice to create some steam inside the foil packet whether you're using the 321 method for St. Louis spare ribs or the 221 method like we are using here for baby back ribs, the method in the middle, number two, is always this step. Don't skip it or you're not making barbecue. I don't know what you're making then. Time to hit them with some glaze, and which is some maple syrup, a little brown sugar, and some bourbon melted together. After another hour back on the smoke, it's time to cut them and enjoy. For this application, the maple syrup as the binder was much better than the mustard, so I highly recommend that. All right, that's a wrap for this episode, and pun intended, haha. -ha. This was a nice alternative. My favorite is still KCBS barbecue style, but this is a nice alternative if you want to switch it up a little bit. But we'll be doing some more KCBS stuff in the near future. All right, till the next time, keep smoking.